Good morning, everyone. I am Yolanda Pena, and I am the treasurer of Azusa Beautiful. Azusa Beautiful is an organization where we beautify our community by planting trees, um, clean graffiti. Um, we also have planted many beautiful flowers here in front of, in front of the, um, the library and the city of Azusa. We do also on Christmas, we always have a, a, a contest regarding who has the most um, ornaments on their house with, with uh, lights and, and flowers and ornaments. And that's what we're about. We, we want to be sure to keep Azusa beautiful. If you've seen the beautiful um, utility boxes throughout the city of Azusa, we have partnered with the city of Azusa to uh, have the beautiful artwork that's on there. And also uh, behind the library, we have that beautiful artwork there. And that's also part of Azusa Beautiful. I'm also a school board member for Azusa Unified School District. And today we are here so I can read a book to you. It's called, What If? This is one of my favorite books. I love to read this to the, the students when I have a readathon throughout uh, the school district. What If? Written by Samantha Berger. With a pencil and a paper, I write art to create many stories that come from my heart. But what if that pencil once disappeared? I fold up the paper, tell stories up here. So what she's doing, she is creating these um, origamis. She's creating these origamis with the papers that she has of her artwork. And if that paper was no longer there, I chisel the table and then carve a chair. So she carves this um, boat that she's going up, and here's a scrap of all her carvings. And what if there wasn't a chair here at all? I chip and I peel at the paint on the wall. And what if there wasn't a wall anymore? I might build a story from board in the floor. Without any floor, I could still use the land and sketch out a tail in the dirt with my hand. So she's in the dirt, she's sketching this here, where there's a moon and the stars. I could shape the leaves. I could still sculpt the snow. This is autumn. So she has these autumn leaves, and here she is playing in the snow with the snowman and an igloo too. I could still plant flowers and make kingdom grow. She's at the beach now and she's making a sand castle. Without any land, I still use light, invent shadow stories, sun with ignite. And she is making shadows with her hands. I'm sure you made shadows before with your hands and you can make a um, bird, or you can make a flower, or just create something with your hands. If there was no light, I would still use my voice to sing out a story, to chant and rejoice. So here she is singing. I still have my body to twist and to bend, to dance out my story beginning to end. She's having a great time, and here she is dancing. And this is the favorite part of the book that I love. If nothing, if I had nothing, but still had my mind, and this is the beautiful portion of it, all the colors, with a Pegasus. There's always be stories to seek and to find. If I know nothing but one bit of faith, and here she, her pencil here, she continues to draw. As long as I live, I will always create. She's in her room, and she's creating all these beautiful origamis, these, um, she's drawing over here in her table, in her house, and she has her pictures up here. As long as I live, here she is in her apartment complex with this gentleman who's playing music. This woman, she's she's baking, and she's 
continue to paint here, do her artwork. I will always create, and here she's going up with the Pegasus up to the sky. And here's the end of the story. And the moral of the story is your imagination can take you anywhere. You can have an imagination and go wherever you want to go when you just pick up a book. The end. Nothing can take your imagination away. We also have Cal State Park Beach Passes where you can check them out for two weeks. And you can go to any state park to use these. Just come to our library if you need any more further information.